Hello everyone, today I'll be talking about factoring binomials, which are just polynomials with two terms, say x squared minus a squared. Uh, specifically, I'll be talking about um, the difference of squares and the sum and difference of cubes, but we'll get to that. So first off, the difference of squares, and these are the easiest things to factor when it comes to factoring, because all it is is a simple formula, um, which can be written two ways x squared minus a squared is x plus a, or x minus a. Um, this is another way of writing it, probably the more formal way of writing it, because it doesn't always have to be x squared. It can be whatever. So, a few examples. Say we have x squared minus 49. Well, the square root of x squared is just x. So that's what goes first in in both of uh, your parentheses, x. So it's x plus and x minus the square root of 49 is 7. So all you really have to do is no square roots. So x squared minus 49 factors into x plus 7, x minus 7. m squared minus 16 the square root of m squared is m, plus the square root of 16 is 4. So we have m plus 4, and m minus 4. Simple as that. Now sometimes you will have an extra step. Here, whenever you're factoring, um, first you look at both the terms and if they have anything in common. Factoring is taking out what they have in common. You take out their greatest common factor. So 3x squared and 27. They both have a 3 in common because 3 goes into both of these. So we have to immediately take out the 3. And we're left with x squared minus 27 divided by 3 is 9. And we know how to factor that. So that will turn into 3 times. The square root of 9 is 3, so x plus 3, x minus 3. And if you FOIL that out and then multiply it all by 3, you'll get right back to here. This, these two terms don't have anything in common, but we still have to treat it the same way as any of these. The square root of 4x squared is 2x. So that's going to go first in our parentheses. And then we have plus or minus the square root of 9 is 3. So 2x plus 3 and 2x minus 3 would be our answer for that one. So it doesn't just have to be x here, it could be whatever, as long as it's square rootable. Then we have one more, but this time it's plus, and notice this is the difference. Difference means subtracting, difference of squares. Um, you actually cannot factor this, this is not factorable, or as we say, prime in math. Because to factor this, you need imaginary numbers, and we don't deal with that in math for college readiness or intermediate algebra. So that's all you have to say here. You say this polynomial is prime, it cannot be factored uh, or not factorable. Alright, and next I'll be talking about the sum and difference of cubes. All right, there are two formulas for this. You can memorize it, but you don't exactly have to because uh, you can work your way through it. You do need to know how to take the cube root of things. Um, so a cubed plus b cubed equals the cube root of this first term, which is a, and the cube root of the second term, which is just b. So a plus b, then you square the first one here, then you multiply the 2 and opposite sign, and then you add square the second term. Pretty much the same thing going on down here. Whatever sign this is, it's going to be between these, and you square the first one, multiply a times b, opposite sign is what that is, and then you square the last term. So we're going to do that with these three examples. First. We know the cube root of x cubed is just x, 
and the cube root of 27. What times what times what is 27? Well, 3. And then we just pretty much plug it into this formula. If you have it memorized, you can just plug it in. Um, if you don't, you can just work through it. So we know it's a, plus, a minus b, so x minus 3. And then it's a squared plus ab plus b squared. So this is our a. So x squared is just x squared. If you multiply these, you get 3x. And it's the opposite sign as that. So 3x plus 3x. And then you square that one, and this last one's always positive. That's it. That's factored form, and you'll never be able to factor this. Here. Not exactly a cube, but they both have x's. So that's the first thing you have to look at. Can I take anything out? Yes, we can. So we take out an x, and we have x cubed plus 8. And we can yet again factor this thing. The x is just going to sit out front, though. So the x stays out front. And the cube root of x cubed is just x. This sign will stay for the first part. The cube root of 8, what times what times what is 8? Well, that's 2. And then we have square our first term, because it's a squared. So x squared. Opposite sign. Multiply these two. So 2 times x is 2x. Plus square the last one. And that's it for that one. Now this one might look a little bit harder, but it's really not. It's the same thing. The cube root of 27x cubed is just 3x. The cube root of 1,000y cubed, and remember, this is our a, and this is going to be our b. And this is just 10y. And then you can plug it into that formula. So first, since it's minus, we start out with a minus b. Our a is 3x minus 10y. So 3x minus 10y. And we square this first one. If we square 3x, 3x squared is 9x squared. Because we're squaring the whole thing. We're not just squaring the x or the number in front of it. So we get 9x squared. Oops. 9x squared. Opposite sign is that. 3x times 10y is 30xy. And then we square this last term. And last one's always positive, which would be 100y squared. And that's it.